The QUnit is a JavaScript unit testing framework. It allows us to develop unit tests for the code we develop in JavaScript. Using the QUnit involves with uh, using two files, this JavaScript file and this CSS file. You can easily use those files hosted on the jQuery website. Just add this script element referring to this QUnit JavaScript file on the jQuery server. The same with the CSS file. You just need to add the link element using uh, this URL address. In order to use the QUnit, we first need to be clear about the functions we want to check. So in this code sample, I defined uh, these two simple functions and I want to develop unit tests specifically for each one of them. Calling the function test means that we want to, want to execute a unit test. We give a name to the unit test and we pass over a function we want to be invoked in uh, this uh, specific unit test. When we use the equal function to pass over what the function returned, what we expected, and of course a text message that will be displayed if the um, assert uh, function, in this case the equal function, uh, succeeded. If it doesn't succeed then it means uh, failure and we shall get that detailed information in the result of executing all tests. Uh, in this code sample, uh, these this specific unit test includes um, two uh, checks. Um, I call equal first to check that uh, calculating the sum of three and four succeed and then um, do the same with um, bigger numbers. Here we have another uh, invocation of test. This time it is a unit test that aims at um, checking the biggest function. Another function we have in our library, a function that should return the biggest number of the two it receives. So here uh, again we use equal in order to verify that the returned value is the one we expect and if uh, the check succeeds then this is the text message that will be displayed. Now if we take this um, web page and try to browse it Let's give it a try. Uh, this is the output we get. So we get a summary for the two unit tests. Each one of the unit tests included um, a few checks. Uh, these unit tests include uh, two small tests. Uh, this one included um, three uh, small uh, uh, tests. Uh, we can press and get detailed information. Here on top, we can select to hide all of those tests that uh, passed. So if we have um, lots of unit tests, we can get a report just of those uh, that failed. For example, if I uh, introduce a small change, for example, like uh, this one, take a look now, we have one failure. failure. Um, and we see just those uh, failures. We don't see the test that succeeded. The other checkbox is for checking the global variables to verify that uh, none of the window properties was uh, changed due to the code that was executed during uh, the test or uh, during the execution of those functions we test. Uh, this checkbox is for uh, disabling the try and catch mechanism we have uh, um, uh, implemented in uh, this framework so we could get uh, the exact uh, AO from uh, executing the 
code in those functions we test. If you visit the website of uh, this framework, you can see that uh, this is the framework being used in the development in jQuery. It comes from the same uh, group that develops jQuery, jQuery UI, jQuery Mobile. Here you can see the detailed documentation. Uh, for example, detailed explanation about the test function and the other similar functions for doing uh, a unit test. Here, under the assert category, you can find the equal function that we were using, but as you can see, there are alternatives for the equal, so you could pick the one that fits.